welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza, and we are at the 2023 Ocala RV Show. We're actually in the Sunshine State RV booth, and we've got Road Trek here. And Road Trek Mike, where is he? Where? Oh, there he goes. Canada Mike here. Good to see you. There he you guys. goes, Canada Mike. So Canada Mike is going to tell us why buy a Road Trek. We're going to get all into it, and Lola is going to be your guide. I'm just doing the intro because. You know, I'm the really super sexy one. Let's get all into this. Why buy a road trek? Hey everyone, a new Vanasaur t-shirt design is out just in time for the winter season. It's called Winter Camping Fun. Even here in the Sunshine State, it feels a lot like winter. If you're a fan of outdoor life, then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time. All you have to do is follow the link here on YouTube just below the video description to the Stranger Palooza store where you will find this Winter Camping Fun design and other fun, cool Stranger Palooza gear. All right, Mike, we know who's a real good looking one around here. Ah, we? you <laughs> certainly are. The camera should be on you, not me. What I really wanted to do is I wanted to learn more about Road Trek. I know we really got into Road Trek earlier this year in Tampa, especially with the new retro line. Yeah, it's really cool. Is, yeah, great colors. Yeah. But I think I want to do a video today about why buy Road Trek. What's the history? What's, what sets Road Trek apart? I think the main thing is that we're a privately owned family business, so it's a father and son that own our company. They're very methodical. Um, they really want to create quality for the consumer, and we are progressing. We're not perfect, but we are definitely, uh, our motto is progress, not perfection. Uh, even though we all want to be perfect, we just ain't. But a couple of things that we do is we just spend a little more time on quality and doing some details. I don't think a lot of people really, uh, really see especially at shows because we're looking at floor plans and, and names, but we're not actually looking at um, some of the features that I think people are missing. Like for instance, not just the full body paint that we do, we do something called a macerator pump. We still give you a gravity dump, but we give you a macerator hose that is extremely good quality so it doesn't break down over time, but it is very sanitary. And what I mean by that is that you would just put this in your dump station, there's actually a button you would open up your black and here there's a button and you would push the button here and what it does is macerate your sewage right here right Red there button. got it macerates it and pumps it out and then you can actually use the gray water after you've dumped it to clean out that macerator and flush all your gray water which is your soap water shower water to get rid of all the remnants that are in the hoses the great thing is if something ever happened where something got in the toilet and clogged the macerator while you're at the dump station and it's not working and you have to unclog it, there's a way to do so. You can actually use gravity to dump that at the dump station so you're not stuck and then you can discard the sewer hose. Why did I say discard the sewer hose? We're the only ones in a ProMaster that has a macerator. That means everybody else is using gravity. And if you notice on some of the vans, in the competition other vans there's not a place to put that sewer hose so well where would that sewer hose go if there's no outside storage on any vans i'll leave that at that the other thing i'm going to show you is we use a limousine style glass with sliding windows but it's the look uh and the higher end type of limousine style so, uh, look so, that we have. So none of your vans have any of the um, RV windows, RV windows, plastic or anything like that, acrylic. We don't do that. Okay. And plus, we do trim pieces here to make it look clean, so you're not seeing any type of hoses hanging down or plugs hanging down. But we also do this because it actually channels the air while driving to give you a little more stability, especially in a windy day like it is in Ocala, Florida today. So you're referring to this curve, this curve on this trim. This right? trim right here, yes. Okay. We have it on the other side as well, and it's magnetized to hide the propane tank, okay. but it also creates a channel of air so you're not, air isn't going all through under the coach to make your drive a little less stable. Gotcha. So yeah. you mentioned propane, so propane on board on all, all of our units? Yes, or? all our units are uh, running on propane. We don't use a propane fridge, we use a compressor fridge uh, that we actually import from Italy. It'll get twice as cold as most RV fridges. It doesn't need to be level. It'll start freezing ice cream within about 45 minutes. Most importantly, it's running off of inverted 
lithium battery power. I can run my fridge for about 100 hours off of one charge. Now that's not running the air conditioner at the same time. That's just how efficient it is. I don't need to be level and I don't need to be plugged in, nor am I running a generator or using propane to run my fridge. Okay. okay. Got it. So propane is on the other side. Uh, and this is our slumber version. It's pretty cool, but uh, it's the painted, painted features I want you to notice. So we take off 34 pieces. We're the only company that on a ProMaster taking off all these pieces. And we have a custom uh, painter in, uh, in Ontario that does all our body painting. We do the air conditioners, the awning, the light fixtures, all the trim, trim bumper pieces. So if this was just white, this would all be white as well. This is a two-tone package that we came out with as an option that's, we wanted to see if the industry might like it or um, and I think have some desire. It's I went it, crazy. It, said yes. it went crazy. I'm very pleasantly surprised. You had the green. Green sold first. We had the blues that sold. We've had the granite and white. The first day it came from Ontario, <laughs> some consumers came. They just loved it and, and purchased that. But they're allowing me to show it at the show because it's the only one I have, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. uh, blessed them for doing so. Um, so let's go over to the other side. Sure, let's this, go to the other side. I know that there's another nice feature. By the way, while we're here, you can see the power steps, which is on driver and passenger. We're the only ones that are doing the power steps on a ProMaster chassis. Um, and then we'll go around and take a look at the other stuff. We also use the Truma hot water, Truma furnace. We're using Truma air conditioner for okay. 2023 as well. Okay, so that means it's a 110? Uh, that is, correct. Okay. So everything on our RVs, Lola, I can run everything on this coach. So as of right now, it's not plugged in. I'm not running a generator. I don't know where the keys are for this unit, but my fridge is working as we're speaking right now. All the lights are on. I can also go inside and turn the air conditioner on. So nothing's plugged in again, no generator, no propane. And what I'll do is I'll turn the air conditioning on and I can run that for five to six hours off of a battery charge, okay? And then what I'm doing is when my batteries get low, I'm turning on the engine at idle, and I'm using an underhood generator, we call it, which is an oversized alternator, that's directly charging our lithium batteries, 600 amp hours, two batteries, 300 each. I can charge those batteries in about one hour per battery, so two hours from a 10% drain off of idle. If I'm driving, it'll be a lot quicker due to the RPMs. So I can run about six hours, five to six hours, depending on humidity, off of one charge with 600 amp hours of lithium. Is 600 amp hours standard? Uh, that is standard on our premium coaches, which is the Zion, the Chase, the Zion Slumber, and the Zion SRT. Okay, okay. and if not the premium then? Then you're getting the Play, which still has an underhood generator. So let me start again. Every road truck has an underhood generator. Every road trek has a 3,000 watt inverter. The Play models have 400 amp hours of AGM batteries. The Premium, which is the Zion Chase, Zion Slumber, the new Pivot that's coming out, the Zion SRT is going to come with 600 amp hours of lithium standard. All the models I mentioned on the Premium series, and I'll start again to Chase, Zion, Zion SRT, and the Pivot, will all come with 300 watts of solar. On the Pivot Slumber, which is the pop top, and the Zion Slumber, which is the pop top, will come with standard 200 amp hours of flex mat solar, okay? okay. 200 watts, excuse okay. me. On the Plays, it is an option. So on a Play, it's a smart package. That means you'll get, in the smart package, you'll get 300 watts of solar, a smart TV, and a digital antenna. And on the slumber, if you get the smart package, you'll get 200 watts, that's the play slumber, you'll get 200 watts of flex mat solar, the TV and the digital antenna, Understood. okay? Yep. I'll Got do it. this also, Lola. The difference between the play, all the plays, mm -hmm. which is play, play slumber, play SRT, right. the difference between that and the all the other models, full body paint, powered electric steps, leather interior, you don't get on the play, you don't get the power steps on the play, you don't get lithium on the play. You don't get the Firefly on the play. And the option is the solar. Gotcha. AGM on the play, lithium on all the other ones, okay? okay. Yeah. But we use the same high 
3500 high content chassis from ProMaster, which is the Ram chassis. We don't do anything different with the quality of construction. We don't do anything different when it comes to um, to cabinetry, all, appliances, correct, all, all the same, same stuff, same okay. fridges, what have you. Okay. And, and I'll so just kind of kind of show you something here while you're in here. Right. Just want to show you just how functional and how the amount of storage that comes in our galleys. This is my favorite floor plan for the active lifestyle, getting in and out, but also. Almost positive, I could be, I'm not perfect, but I believe this has the most interior storage out of any ProMaster, which is four drawers, two on this side, but we have the most interior storage on a Zion side-facing sofa, okay? The most out of any van. Let's turn off that AC, it's I'm louder than your voice. Awesome. We turned off the AC. Okay. There's definitely a ton of storage down there, Mike, which is really important Absolutely. When, you're, when you're packing for trips and trying to get everything you need on board. Now, I see you've also got the window trim already built in as well. These are day night shades. So that's the night, or sorry, bug screen, blackout shades. They do connect. And then the windows are very, oh, forgive me. Um, there we and go. the window slide which I can hand stuff out oh, my see. sliding door has a window okay my screens are I really love my screens I'm gonna do a little demo for you you can stay there I'm gonna show you something you have the full blackout screen as you see and then if you're on a windy day you just want to get some breeze inside you have the interior screen that opens up it lets the breeze in and it actually is double screened to keep the UV sun uh, heat out. That, that's cool. Okay, is that, that cool? Is cool? Yep. I'll come back in here with you. I'm going to turn the power on again because I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, Lola? Okay. So let me just turn that back on. See the silver? And I'm just going to show you something while you're here. Now that's the way this van First came battery, in. I'll they hear it click. Four pieces off of this and, paint it. and this here's a Firefly system? Yeah, that's the Firefly. Okay. I can actually connect All this with my phone. Line. Yes. I can the check the, the temperature. Mm -hmm. I can check the tank levels. levels. Turn my lights on and off from you when I'm sleeping. Really on and off as well. So I'm going to turn yeah, that the, on. I'm going to make sure that's off. Here. And then I'm going to show you the kind of sofa. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out. This one's locked. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you. I got that one locked. Okay. So people don't do it while we're at the show. Things. And you watch your head, but I'll meet you. You go to the back there. Okay. And I'm gonna show you from in here. Yeah. All right. First off, this is our lagoon table. Really great. So you can move it in and out of the way to get out. Then you can use it for the front. And actually, I use it for doing dishes more counter space i can lift this up lift the flip up and actually it's very functional okay. and i just and yes just mission, this is the zion that this, we're in the this is a we're... zion side facing sofa just like the last one we're in mm -hmm. but it's got our new uh mint interior that's right which is pretty cool it is i like the brightness it's, it doesn't feel claustrophobic to me it really opens up the space it opens it up so i'm just going to move this and then i'm going to show you how this works put this there for now so I'm gonna make the king bed just to show you how this works and we'll show you how easy it is so I give you kind of two options for sleeping one you have a king bed I'm six foot one as you can see I fit lots of bedroom okay now we'll do a little scenario here it's like how hard is it to to get it set up for breakfast, okay? So let's just see, it's, it's actually, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have breakfast or have dinner, let's make the, let's make it. It's okay, give me the table, we're ready to eat. So that hopefully is, uh, whoever's cooking is a lot faster than, a lot faster. A lot than faster. Than to set this up. The other scenario is the king bed, but then if you're like myself, I unfortunately, the odd time, have to get up to go to the bathroom at night, once in a blue moon, I can have a twin bed. Whoever gets this side will get this. So it's evened a little bit. 
but I can I can get up and I'm not dis I'm not disturbing whoever's sleeping because I have to go to the bathroom. Makes sense. Okay. No, this is easy. Yeah. The fact that this is powered is so easy. That's and very convenient. This cushion actually if I'm if I'm if I'm entertaining or I have my kids with me or what have you, this actually opens up at Velcro. It's Velcro. Okay. And it goes against for the backrest. Okay. Yeah. Can you create a backrest with it. All right. And all of this power stuff is covered within the two year warranty. Two year warranty. So mm -hmm. I have two years on everything in the coach, two years on all the cabinetry. There's nothing that doesn't have two years of warranty. Mm -hmm. Then the ProMaster gives their warranty as well, but I cover everything. Okay. Now, now you are located in Canada. These are built in Canada and then brought into the U.S. Correct. We're built in uh, Cambridge, Ontario, and uh, which is an hour from Toronto, and they're all brought to the United States. And Nick from Sunshine State is such a great partner with us. I'm so grateful for him, not just for his friendship. He really sets an example of what it means serving a client after they purchase an RV very important it's incredibly the important after experience. and I support that and I believe uh, I believe you see by his success that the consumer uh, really appreciates really it appreciates as well it. so I'm grateful for him and and for his dealership and all his staff they're a great team and uh, yeah he's a good person so I appreciate uh, all that come and uh, look at Rotrex and well listen the relationship is evident we've seen it in the two years that we've been owners as well as friends with Sunshine State and it's evident and you know uh, I can't say anything bad about Sunshine State if you have a vehicle whether you purchase it from them or not they will still take care of you as if you bought it from them correct and that's a testament to who they are and that that's really important and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get you guys, you and your husband, uh, Hank, out to the plant. And we might just, you know, uh, you, well, what happens when you, you know, if, if you don't want a haircut, don't hang around a barbershop. <laughs> so if you come to Ontario, you guys, uh, you know, you just might find yourself uh, cruising around in a road trek. And with road trek, your destination always awaits. Turn it, turn it onto us like this so we can wrap this oh, up. Okay, okay, let's wrap now, it up. Let's see. Now, what I would say is... Hank's not around, right? Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure comfortable, isn't it? This is very comfy. I mean, we're sitting with the bench and our feet, feet up. on the other side. That's a great, a lot of comfort. Now, is there anything at all that I should have asked or I missed about Road Track that we want to share with the I think there's there? so much. I don't want... We'll have to do another video sometime. Okay. But we have different floor plans. I always like to ask people, if you're kind of confused about floor plans, do a little research, but ask yourself one thing. If you got one for free, what are you going to do with it? And that'll kind of tell you what we're going to do. Traveling, we are gonna we don't like campgrounds. Okay. Then you'll know that the lithium technology that we have just eliminates the ball and chain mm -hmm. of needing mm -hmm. power. So that's one of the big things. And the play is a different type of lifestyle. I use, I've use i used the play, transport kids to soccer, what have you. I park it anywhere, downtown being 20 foot 9 inches. Okay. So it fits in a parking spot. The short one is 19 foot 7, so very much fits in a parking spot. Yep. But they're good driving vehicles. So I try to counsel people, don't just think of it recreation. Think of it as a car. Use it all the time. Why wouldn't Everyday you? Driver. you got a bathroom. Mm -hmm. The fridge always works. AC always works. Yep. So when people often ask us, you know, which would you choose? The answer for us is whichever one's right for you. Correct. What is, what is your lifestyle? What's your intention with your purchase? What are you going to do with it? You may not need 600 amp hours. You may not need a generator. You may not need a rear bath. So it really is up to the consumer. And that's the reason why it's good to do your research, watch the videos, ask a bunch of questions. And as always, and leave if I may say, Look for the little things. It's okay. always about the little things. Okay. The hoses, the quality of cabinetry. Whatever van you're looking for, get in one. It's mm -hmm. a great way to live with a van. Mm -hmm. Explore, and uh, but look at all the little things. Open up cabinetry, yeah. ask about warranties. <laughs> There's companies that'll say we have this warranty, but that's just on what they do. So make sure you're getting um, all the information. Yep. And that's the best thing I can help anybody with. Is I think that's Do great. your homework. That's fantastic. Yeah. Mike, thank you so much for taking the thank time you. to do this video with me. You know, to share more about Road Trek. I hope now you guys are a bit more informed about Road Trek. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And either myself or Hank or maybe Mike or Nick and Sunshine State will jump in here and uh, answer your questions. So until the next you're, video. You're very beautiful, by the way. <laughs> 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 until the next video, we will see you guys Bye. out of here. <laughs> We're done.